Hey Charms, it's your girl Michaela, and I'm back with a quick video. Today I'm making a photo dress inspired by Giselle and Saweetie for my birthday. So I'll be showing y'all how I do that and then I will show y'all what I looked like for my DIY photo shoot. So if you're interested, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so I'm starting to put the dress together. I got some jump rings that I ordered off of AliExpress and some split rings or keychain rings whatever you want to call them i also got this grommet plier from harbor fright and that is how i put the eyelets in i did not smash them because i'm not strong enough to smash them so i literally just punched the holes with the plier like so and then just put the eyelet in there and that's what it looks like um, I already have majority of the pictures completed and have the jump rings, so I'm just going to finish these last few on camera with you guys, and then we'll move on to attaching the whole thing together. So, take your split ring, I meant your jump ring, pull it apart, put it in. Close it up. And I'm going to do that for the remaining pictures. Okay, so spoiler alert. I did not come back after inserting these jump rings. So I'm just going to kind of tell you what I did. So here I'm just splitting apart the jump rings and then I'm going to put jump rings in all four eyelet holes. If you're not using eyelets, you can just like hole punch your pictures and do it that way. Um, but I'm going to take my split rings or key rings, whatever you call them, and I'm going to connect all the jump rings to key rings. So I think I ended up using like, I want to say 50 key rings either 50 key rings or 25 I can't remember but it's really just to connect all those jump rings to you know the key rings so it's kind of pretty self-explanatory if I'm confusing you you can skip to the end of the video and I zoomed in on my dress so you can see what I'm talking about but um, I really just didn't feel like filming that part because at this point my hands were hurting so bad from messing with those jump rings so if you want to avoid hand pain I suggest that you buy like two sets of pliers so you can pull the jump rings apart but other than that it was cool making the dress but I would never do this again it just took a lot of time and plus it was annoying you know opening up the jump rings and closing them back together so that's the only complaint I have. If it wasn't my birthday, I would have never did this. But this is what it looks like with all the jump rings on. So yeah. So my hands are super red. So I'm going to take a break. And tomorrow we're going to attach the whole dress using these key rings. And then see if the dress is long enough and big enough. Okay y'all, so this is the wig that I'm wearing in my pictures that I'm taking today. It's the Outre Quick Weave Half Wig Shantae in 1B. So this is how much leave out of my hair I'm leaving. The rest is in twist and in a low ponytail. Hair kind of itchy. So, what, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm going to put this on my head. I feel like this part needs to be a little bit flatter I feel like I left out too much hair but we'll see I washed my hair on Friday I wash my hair every Friday and it's currently Monday so This is like my first synthetic half wig, I'm pretty sure. I never was really into half wigs, but I don't know, I'm getting tired of frontals. But that's neither here nor there. So it has two clips at the top, one at the bottom. 
cardstock card, which I should probably cut off right now. It's a pretty wig though. I don't know if it's picking up shiny on camera, but it's not like super shiny. brush her because I don't want the curls to fall. Only part I don't like so far is this part. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Maybe I should comb some of my hair to it. I could have got a, what's that color? Is it two or four? I be getting burn ones confused. Definitely shouldn't have got one B, but this is all they had, so. Beggars can't exactly be choosers. As you can see, it's two different textures from my hair. My hair getting caught in a cone, but whatever. Okay, so let's I should probably style it first before combing it in. Oh, this is cute. This is what it looks like up close. If this was a two, this would be bomb. It's already still bomb, but like I said, you can see you know what part is my hair and what's not. It's giving skunk stripe. That's what it's doing. Okay. That was super easy. I'm gonna comb it out some more. This is cute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've had this wig since, when did I order this? September? Because I already kind of figured out how I wanted to wear my hair for my birthday. So I ordered two half wigs. I ordered this one and then a curly one. So I'm gonna have to wand curl my hair. But I really like this. I feel like if I put a little bit more hair out, it'll look even better. But I'm not going to do that because I really don't want to get heat damage. And hopefully I don't get heat damage, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is cute. Let me turn around. I hope y'all can see that. But yes. Okay. I'm gonna link below the video I watched that made me want to get this wig. There's this girl. I think her name is Brittany. I could be making that up. But she orders like a whole bunch of half wigs. And she made it look so easy. And it literally, it literally was. So shout out to her. And we're going to move on to put my dress on. Okay, y'all. So I'm in my garage. I was taking pictures. But here's my dress. I'll show y'all a long version. But as you can see, y'all, I don't know. It's cute, but I just feel like it's not made to walk around in. So if you do this for a photo shoot, just make sure you have somebody that helps you keep it together. But yeah, it's cute. 